With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so in this question it is given that a wheel has a constant angular acceleration of 3 radian per second square. During a 4 second interval, it turns through an angle of 60 radian, okay? Means in a certain 4 second interval, okay, uh, it turns through an angle of 60 radian. So if the wheel started from the rest, so how long has it been in motion before the start of this 4 second interval, okay? So let's understand this question with the help of a simple diagram, okay? Let's assume this one as path, okay, where the wheel is moving, okay? There is some certain interval of 4 second. Let's assume that this this interval, this is actually the interval of 4 second, okay? Where the wheel has covered a angular displacement of 60 radian actually, okay? So the theta term is given that is equal to 60 radian, okay? But it is also given in the question that the wheel started from the rest. Means when it start, in that case that the initial angular velocity that is going to be equal to 0. But when uh, uh, and what we have to find out? We have to find out the how long has it been in the motion before the start of 4 second interval. Means we have to find out this time interval. Means when we will start it from the rest and when it reached the in, when it reached the starting part of the 4 second interval. So in that time, uh, in that case, what is the time taken by the wheel actually, okay? So first of all, let's assume here this part when reach this point, uh, when wheel reach this point, at that point the angular velocity of wheel, let's assume it as omega 1, okay? Now we are going to apply a simple equation of, simple equation of circular motion during this interval, okay? During this interval, let's mark it as b to c. So we are going to apply a simple equation that is theta will be equal to what? Theta will be equal to initial angular velocity into time plus half into angular acceleration into time square and uh, in this in this relation we have theta that is given 60 radian we don't know about this initial angular velocity of this interval means the interval of 4 second actually okay so let's mark it as omega initial t and we have uh, we have the time here that is 4 second plus half alpha the that constant angular acceleration is given that is 3 into t square that is 4 square that will be equal to 16 actually okay if we solve this term so we are going to find out this omega initial okay so if we cancel this term 2 8 is 16 8 3 is 24 actually okay so 60 minus 24 and we are going to divide it with 4 if we simplify this term so the omega initial will be equal to 9 radian per second, okay? 9 radian per second. If we just subtract and divide with 4, so our omega initial will be equal to 9 radian per second. Means uh, this part is what? Uh, at the point B, the, in, the angular velocity is 9 radian per second. Now we are going to apply a simple equation of circular motion during this interval actually, okay? So in this interval, we are simply going to apply a relation of that final angular velocity that is equal to initial angular velocity plus alpha into time. We have to find the time that is taken from A to B. Let's mark it as A. So what is the time uh, What is the time taken from A to B? Okay. So the omega final is what actually? Omega final is actually 9 radian. And initially it is given that the will start from the rest that is 0. And angular acceleration that is also given according to question that is 3 into T. So the required time taken by the wheel from A to B that is going to be equal to 3 3 is a 9 second that is 3 second and from option we can say that our option number 1 is correct thank you for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today